Hi, this video is going to cover multiplying and dividing monomials. So the learning goal for this video is to expand on exponent rules to simplify the multiplication or division of monomials involving one or two variables. So what is a monomial? A monomial is basically um, an expression that has one term. And one term, a term, is, uh, is basically an expression that has things multiplying or dividing with each other. So these are examples of terms. Um, you know, it's the 7 and the x squared and the y to the 4, or they're just multiplying together. And the same thing here with each of these things. These are just m things that are multiplying or dividing together. The 6 is, really, you can think about it as multiplying with a 1. Uh, so things that are just multiplying or dividing together is one term. So this is a monomial because there's only one of these terms. A binomial, okay, like a bicycle, has two terms or two wheels for a bicycle. Um, so here we've got one term because these things are multiplying. Here's another term, this 2b to the 3. That's another term. And then they're adding with each other. So that, that's two terms. Okay, contrast that with a monomial. You see how there's nothing adding or subtracting here. And the same thing with this binomial, 7p minus 1. These are two terms okay, that are adding or subtracting with each other. So naturally, a trinomial, okay, like how a tricycle has three wheels, a trinomial has three terms, okay, each adding or subtracting with each other. Okay. Uh, so that's basically what a monomial is. I didn't want to throw out the word without explaining what that means. And we're only going to be focusing on monomials for this topic. Anyway, okay. so um, we're just going to go through some of the exponent rules that you're going to need in order to be successful in this topic. There are videos before on exponent rules, so feel free to check those out if you need a, a, a more detailed explanation of exponent rules. Uh, so anyway, here we've got um, expressions that are multiplying together, like this x to the 6 and this x to the 4. Uh, there is division happening, and there's also uh, exponents or uh, expression raised to an exponent. So uh, bed mass or order of operations tells us we have to do the exponent first. So we have this x to the 6. We are uh, going to raise x to the 4 to uh, exponent of 2. So the exponent rules tells us that when a power is raised to a power, then we can multiply the exponent. So that should get us x to the 8 here and x to the 5 is in the denominator. Okay, now we can uh, multiply these two expressions in the numerator. So when we're multiplying powers that have the same base, we add the exponent. So the 6 and the 8 we're going to add to 14. Okay, we still have this x to the 5 on the bottom. And finally we've got uh, powers that have the same base that are dividing, so we subtract the exponents. So that gets us x to the 9. All right, so again, a power raised to a power, we multiply the exponents. Um, ex, um, expressions uh, here, powers that are the same base that are multiplying, we add exponents. And when uh, uh, powers are dividing, then uh, we subtract the exponents. Okay, so we're going to use that same idea for monomials that have uh, these numbers in the front that we call coefficients. And... Uh, two different variables. So when we look at this expression here, it's basically every like this 5, this a squared, this b to the 3, they're multiplying with each other, right? And also these, uh, the 6, the a, the b to the 4, they're multiplying with each other as well, and they're multiplying with each other. So there's just a whole bunch of multiplying happening. And it doesn't matter how or what order you multiply things in, right? Like 3 times 1 and 1 times 3 are exactly the same thing. So this is really like 5 times 6 times a squared times a times b to the 3 times b to the 4, right? That's exactly the same thing. I just rearranged uh, so that uh, the numbers were together, the a's were together, and the b's were together. That's perfect. That's exactly the same thing. So what we can do is we can actually just multiply the 5 and the 6, right? We know what 5 times 6 is. That's 30. The a squared and the a, okay, they are powers that have the same base. So we can add their exponents, right? So this is a to the 2 times a to the, there's an invisible 1 here. So that's a to the 3. And then this, these b's, uh, since they're multiplying, we can add their exponents to get 7. Uh, so really, the moral of the story is that we are, we are doing exponent rules um, to different um, sets of bases. Okay? So we deal with the a's, we deal with the b's separately. Okay? So let's do the same idea here. Um, we've got two monomials dividing. So I can, I can divide the 12 and the 3 first to get 4. I can divide now the x's 
uh, and the x's, um, we can subtract the exponents. So that's 5 take away 3, which is 2. And the y's, we can subtract their exponents as well. So that's 7 take away that invisible 1, which is 6. Now this power to a power is a little bit more complicated. Um, the uh, this to the power of three just means that this expression, right, two a to the five b to the four, well, that's just multiplying with itself three times. Okay, a to the five, b to the four. Um, now, as you can see, when we're multiplying, it's very similar to the first example here. These twos are going to multiply. There's three of them, right? So it's like two to the power of three. The a to the fives, there's just three of them. They're multiplying with each other, right? So that's like a to the five to the power of three. And the same thing with this b to the four. There's three of them. So it's like b to the four raised again to a power of three. So these, this power to a power rule, we can apply three times. So this two is raised to a power of three, right? Or two times two times two, which is eight. This a to the five, we can raise to a power of three. And when we're raising a power to a power, we multiply the exponent. So 5 times 3 is 15. And this b, the exponent is uh, going to multiply the 4 with the 3 to get 12. And if we think about it in terms of multiplying, right, this a to the 5 times a to the 5 times a to the 5, we just add those exponents, right? So that's why we would have 15. And the b would then be 4 plus 4 plus 4, which is 12. Same thing, right? But really, um, uh, to make our calculations faster, we can uh, think of these as uh, ex uh, we, we're dealing with the power of a power rule to each different base. All right, so let's just apply these rules again. Let's use a little bit more complicated expressions. Um, so for part A here, we've got um, two monomials multiplying here. So again, we're just going to do each thing separately. The 3 and the 6 will multiply to 18 x squared times x to the 4 would get us x to the 6 since we're adding the exponents. This y to the 7, we're going to multiply this with the y to the 3 to get y to the 10. Okay. And then we have this 2xy to the 4 in the denominator. Now we're dealing with division, so 18 divided by 2 is 9. x to the 6 divided by x, we're subtracting those exponents, so that's why it's a 5. And y is going to be 10 take away 4, which is 6. Okay. Uh, let's look at uh, part b here. So again, we're just going to simplify the numerator. We can then simplify the denominator and then divide afterwards. So the a's are multiplying. So that will get us a to the 5 and b to the 5 plus 7, which is 12. Now the denominator, we can raise each of these powers uh, to the 3. So this a we're going to raise to a power of 3. So the a there's an invisible 1 you can think of it. So that's uh, 1 times 3 is 3. And b here 2 times 3 is 6. Okay. Now finally we can divide um, each different base separately. So a to the 5 divided by a to the 3 is a squared and b to the 12 divided by b to the 6 we're just subtracting so we get 6 here. Okay. So again all we're doing is uh, we are applying exponent rules, but we're only doing it between the same bases. Now, if expressions involve coefficients, remember, that means the numbers in the front, okay? That means the number in front, okay? And the two different variables, so we're just going to apply the rules to each separately. And again, if expressions are fractions, just simplify the top, simplify the bottom, and then divide afterwards. Okay, so I'd like you to give these questions a try. Pause the video, um, see what you can do, and when you're ready to check the answers, just press play. Okay, so again, pause the video and give these questions a shot. All right, let's take these up. So we're just multiplying here, so we're going to do each type separately. So 8 times 4 will get us 32. These p's will multiply, so then we have a 7 as the new exponent. And this q has an invisible 1, so one, uh, the 1 plus 3 will get 4. Let's look at part b here. Um, the numerator is being raised here to a power of 5, so each exponent inside here is going to be multiplying with the 5. Right? So here x is going to have a new ex exponent of 20 and y is going to have 1 times 5, which is 5. 
Right? Now the denominator still has x, y to the 4. And so now we apply exponent rules to each of these x's okay, and to the y's. So 20, uh, here's a 1 here. So we're going to subtract since we're dividing the um, uh, powers. So 20 take away 1 is 19. And y here, we have 5 take away 4, which will be 1, but I'm not going to write the 1. Okay, uh, try these next two questions. And again, pause the video, and when you're ready uh, to check the answers, press play. So go ahead. All right, let's check part A. So we're going to multiply the numerator, uh, the two uh, expressions in the numerator here first. So negative 3 times 5, we should get negative 15. x to the 6 times x to the 5 is x to the 11. And y here, we've got 4 plus this invisible 1 here. Since we're multiplying, we add exponents, right? So 4 plus 1 makes 5. Now the denominator here, we've got 4xy to the 4. Now here, um, if you did a decimal, I guess that's okay. But really, um, the sophisticated type, we'll just leave it as a fraction since they don't divide evenly. Um, let's look at the x's. So 11 um, take away the 1 here. We'll get 10. And then for y's here, 5 take away 4 is 1. I'm not going to write the 1. Okay, so that's the simplified expression. Now let's look at the last one here. This one's a real good one. We're going to raise each base here to the exponent of 3. So 4 to the 3 will get us 64. G is going to, you're going to multiply the 5 with the 3. So we're going to G to the 15. And then H is to the 6. Now the denominator here, again, 2 raised to a 2, so that'll be 4. Uh, g to the 6 raised to the 2 will get us g to the 12. And h here, so there's an invisible 1, so 1 times 2 is 2. Now we're dividing, so 64 divided by 4 is 16. The g's here, we're going to subtract those exponents to get 3. And then h, we're going to subtract those exponents to get 4. So let's just kind of sum up all that we've done here so far. Um, if the keys here are to know your exponent rules, you really need to know your exponent rules. Um, follow bed mass, okay? particularly the one that people forget. You've got to deal with the exponent first. So when a power is raised to a power, make sure you deal with that first. And again, um, simplify a numerator and the denominator separately if you have a fraction and then divide afterwards. Okay, so hopefully this video has made this topic clear. Best of luck with all your work.